You didn't <laughs> drop kick the baby, right? <laughs> you didn't punt the baby out of the restaurant. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome back to my channel, a thing I'm still not used to saying. My name is Alana. You may recognize me as Restaurant Story Girl. Um, and I am off today. It is my day off. I have the first ever Restaurant Story guest here joining me. Um, this is Brenna. Say hello, Brenna. Hello. Brenna is um, a co-worker of mine at the restaurant. Um, among other things. She's also my sister. Uh -huh. So we've also been roommates for a fair amount of years. But we do work together and that's very fun and cute. It is, we're adorable. It's exactly what you expect it to be. Mm -hmm. It's the best and the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Yes, we hold hands and we skip around the restaurant. Sisters, <laughs> sisters. Anyway, I thought Brenna would be the perfect guest, the perfect candidate for what is up on the docket today. Today we're reading a little bit of Am I the Asshole on Reddit. We're doing specifically restaurant-centric ones. I thought that was topical. I agree. The kids are supposedly very into it these days. I actually mentioned it to Brenna, Brenna was very excited. I love me some Am I the Asshole because they're always the asshole. Some of my research actually, I kind of had a hard time picking ones for this. I've picked five for us to react to today. What I wanted was specifically like, Am I the Asshole like, in regards to like employees speaking to guests. I wanted like, mm -hmm. I treated my server this way or like, was I an asshole to the host or was I as a server an asshole to my guest? Aren't many of those. I found a couple though. I did my best. I'm into it. I always try to do this thing for videos like this where like, I still want to maintain the element of like it being novel. So I like skim it. So I have, I read the mm -hmm. first like couple of sentences and okay. was like, this is probably good. So okay, I like it, I like it. Not me telling you what I already know. Okay. So, shall we begin? I think we shall. Oh my god, incredible. Here's our first one. Am I the asshole for telling a waiter I want to change tables because there's a crying baby next to me? <laughs> <laughs> Initial thoughts are probably not. But yeah. <laughs> I bet it's gonna be more complicated. Yeah. <laughs> my husband and I went out for dinner a couple of nights ago. It was the first time by ourselves after our baby was born. It's my second child. The first for my husband, so it was kind of a big deal for us. We got a babysitter and we went to a very nice fancy restaurant. A few minutes after we ordered, another couple sat on the table next to us with a small baby in a stroller with like a lot of ellipses. Like the table next to us, dot, 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 with a small baby next to us. At first it was fine, but after a few minutes, the baby started crying as babies. As they have been known to cry, do. yes. They tried to comfort it, but every time it seemed they had managed to make it sleep, it woke up crying again. By then we just wanted to leave, <laughs> but we had already ordered. So we decided to ask the waiter if we could change tables to the other side of the restaurant. The waiter asked if there was a problem. And I said, it was our first time out after having a baby. And we didn't feel like spending our evening next to someone else's crying baby. He was super nice and quickly asked another waiter to help him set up the new table for us. Another couple that was in the same area also asked to be seated elsewhere. Oh, that's okay. a little tough when multiple people are moving. Yeah, that means it's legitimately a problem. It means it's disruptive. Yeah. My initial instinct is that um, no one's the asshole here. That's just what I'm gonna predict. Yeah, I will say the one little thing, just cause I'm like kind of a judgy bitch, is <laughs> I do hate when people are like, well, because I'm a parent, this is more valid for me. You know, like if the baby's crying and it's disruptive, it's not more disruptive for you because you also have a baby somewhere else, you know? I just want to say that they're so brave of you to say. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get killed, aren't I? How could you <laughs> say something so controversial yet yeah, so brave? I'm fearless. <laughs> fearless. It's going to get us demonetized. Oh, God. The couple with the baby overheard what we said to the waiter. Yeah, that's the problem there. It's going to happen, yeah. And especially the mom got upset and called me an asshole. <laughs> She went on and on saying that I probably don't have kids oh. in parentheses. Mm, I have two. Yeah, we have been over that. Yeah. <laughs> and that babies are also people. And we should just accept that babies can be loud and cry and there's nothing she could do about it. Okay. <laughs> I have a lot of feelings about Me this. Me too. Immediately. <laughs> I didn't want to start a fight or anything, but I got really annoyed by her attitude. So I told her that she could actually do something about the crying. She could take her baby home so it can properly sleep and then let everyone else in there enjoy their meals. She kept saying stuff, but I just ignored her. Went to our new table and tried to have a nice dinner, although in parentheses, although we could still hear the crying baby. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but at least it wasn't right next to us. This morning I told my sister what happened and she said she agrees that 
I might have been an asshole. <laughs> she said I shouldn't have said to the waiter that we wanted to move because of the baby and I shouldn't have said what I said to the mom. So now I'm not sure, am I the asshole? Um, this is, sorry, I just stepped on the dog's face. Oh, I'm sorry, Gwen. It's fine. <laughs> so here's the thing with babies is that yes, I do believe that they are allowed to be in the world. Mm -hmm. They are, they, they, they do not yet have the social capacity <laughs> to vocalize their needs. Right. So they do their best, right? That is not cry. the fault of the baby. I feel the same way about babies on airplanes. Me, oh yeah. Because I also want to cry on airplanes. And what? they don't know, you know, I know why I'm on the airplane. The baby doesn't know why. Exactly, the baby's just like, <laughs> I am in a middle prison and right. it's loud. And my ears hurt. Yeah. <laughs> same with like in a restaurant, I'm hungry, bitch. Yeah, I'm also crying. <laughs> I get it. Um, the baby doesn't even get to have food there. I know. The baby doesn't even get to order. Like, the baby doesn't get a safe. It sucks. And I don't, look, I don't think it's the rudest thing in the world to have, to ask your server to move because of a disruption like that. No. I've had people ask me that. Yeah. It's not a big deal. I've um, had people ask me that just because they're like, the person next to me is like loud and annoying and often they're correct. <laughs> I also, I don't think they're the asshole for the reason that the sister said. The sister was like, right. you shouldn't have told the waiter that it was the baby. He asked. He did ask. You told him. It was kind it's of something that was out of your control. You yeah. controlled what you could control. Yes. Which was you moving. You didn't tell the mom to shove it. Yeah, you didn't like walk up to the mom and be like, you suck as a mom. You didn't <laughs> drop kick the baby, right? <laughs> you didn't punt the baby out of the restaurant. No. I don't think the poster is the asshole. No, I don't at all. I do think that the mom was... A little bit of an asshole. Like, oh, she needs to simmer down a little bit. I clearly, first baby, right? Mm -hmm. I understand, I under, it's an explanation, not an excuse. I understand the initial anger. She's right, the baby is allowed to be in the world. You know, you and I would understand because of all those babies that we've had. <laughs> I do, it sounds like this. she was a little sharp in her tone, though, yes. in addressing uh, the OP. I agree. Um, and it sounds like the OP might have given a little back. She didn't start it. She didn't start it. I don't think so the OP. I'm team OP. I think also the sister is incorrect in saying that you should have said nothing. Yeah. I mean, granted, I wasn't there. So there's a chance that when the waiter asked you what was wrong, you said, well, that baby that over there. Baby, look at the baby. It's screaming. <laughs> but if you were like, the baby's crying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's different. Yes. So I think this is, this is a problem of tone. I agree. I think any of the words exchanged were not bad. However, I think that tone might have been misinterpreted. I will also think if I were like the mom of the baby, or maybe this is just a personality difference, I hear that and maybe I am mad, but it, it, what I would do about being mad is I would roll my eyes and then I would say to my husband, that lady sucks, you know? And then I'd move on. Yeah, <laughs> there's like a... <laughs> I don't know, there's like a certain degree of empathy that I maybe would have expected from OP from having a child a baby. before. Yes. Because I, I don't ever look at a mom with a crying baby and think like, you're, how dare you yeah. disrupt mom? Like it's a baby, a tiny cry. baby. <laughs> so like, especially if it's your first one, it's fine. Yeah. There's a trial and error process. You'll get them on the next one. I don't know, I have a hard time with Am I the Assholes because what I would actually do in this situation is do nothing. I yeah. would say nothing. I would do what you did, which is roll my eyes and then change nothing about the situation. Yes. I'd make like an offhanded comment quietly to my husband that I was annoyed and then I'd move on. Exactly. <laughs> because it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually change the taste of my steak. It, precisely. Um, it's just dinner. So I, I don't think the OP is the asshole here necessarily. Oh no, I don't think so either. Word. Moving on. Am I the asshole for going to a restaurant she likes, but I don't order food? <laughs> I feel like that's missing some words, but also I don't like where this is going already. So just before I start, the actual story is only like a paragraph long, but there are one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six updates. <laughs> so many. <laughs> Which means they continued to go back seven times as they were getting okay. comments to give more information. So, am I the asshole for going to a restaurant she likes but I don't order food? We were deciding what to eat and she really wanted to go to this restaurant. I was on board with it, but I am super picky and had no idea what this restaurant had. 
red flag kind of to start. Why didn't you Google the menu? I have to, I have to forgive people who are picky eaters. I've never been one. Yeah. Uh, our parents were like, if you don't like what I made, then yeah. you don't eat it. So there was no way a picky eater, we would have starved. It would have been a survival of the fittest. Exactly. In his home. So but, that's, that's our, that's my own bias. Yeah. But you can just look up the menu and then you would know before you even get there. But yes. okay, continue. We get there. I look at the menu. He didn't do his re research beforehand. I just assume this is a man. I actually don't have any evidence that it's a man. It's it's a man. Though. It just feels like a man. <laughs> uh, like I'm a vegetarian. I have a restriction, so I always look at the menu, yeah. even though everywhere has vegetarian food. But I just want to be sure. <laughs> I have no restrictions. I have like a fake uh, lactose intolerance. And I still look. You up look the it menu. up anyway. Just you're curious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to know. I want to know what the prices are. As I always look it up. Yes. I don't like being surprised. I don't either. We get there, I look at the menu, and nothing looks even semi-good. For example, all of the sandwiches had wheat bread only, and I hate wheat. I let her order her food, and when the lady asked what I wanted, I told her I wasn't eating. I told my girlfriend I wanted her to enjoy the meal, and I was happy to be there. My girlfriend got so mad, got up, and left. I left with her and asked what the big deal was. She insists that I need to be there eating with her. We ended up going somewhere else together, but it irritated me. Am I in the wrong here? Before we read any of the updates, yeah, how do we feel? We weigh in? So, okay, if I'm the girlfriend, I would interpret that as passive aggressive. Whether or not he meant it that way, if he said, it's fine, I don't wanna eat anything, I just wanna be here with you, I'd be like, what the fuck, you know? Again, again, it's tone. It's tone, it's tone and it's communication. So that, that, cause that is where I would go is I would be like, you are trying to make me feel bad. <laughs> That's a good point because I didn't think about it as if I were the girlfriend, but mm -hmm. looking at it objectively, my first instinct is like, I don't think he's an asshole. I think he wanted to do a nice thing. Yeah. I think he's kind of maybe a, like an awkward dude, but yeah, that awkward people deserve to be happy too. <laughs> but you're right that there's a difference between like, oh, I just wanted to go to the restaurant that you wanted to go to. I wanted you to be happy. And mm -hmm. I just wanted, I just you, wanted to you, to you to be happy. No, it's fine. We'll just we'll just go where you want to go. It's it's I don't, fine. I don't even have to eat anything. Yeah, which I just, I just I want to spend time with you. you so know? tone matters. Yes, I'm getting the instinct that he the, is perhaps the tone problem. <laughs> I, I'm sure there's more. <laughs> there's because of the six updates. Because these updates are so fucking funny. Oh, no. Update number one. It was some French cafe. Which I think there's the, the, the choice of words of like, it was some French cafe. Mm -hmm. I've never been to a French restaurant, but I was willing to check it out. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Their menu wasn't very big. I just wanted her to enjoy a nice meal. So we know that it's French. That's the other thing is it's, it sounds as though he's never tried French food. Which like you've had a croissant, I'm sure. I'm sure you've had right. a croissant. But there's, you know, like now I sound like a, my mother, but like, you know, you could try it. <laughs> you never tried it before. It's true. You might love it. What we're unclear on so far is whether or not it's like a nice French restaurant that yeah. serves like escargot or if it's like, I don't know, like Marie Callender's. That also matters. It does. Yeah. If you don't want to try $45 escargot for the first time right That's now. That's fair. But also if it is like a more casual place. It's like less weird to go there and not eat anything. Yeah. I've had tables where yeah, one person eats, the other person gets a drink mm -hmm. and it's not weird. But if it's like a whole thing. Also, but have you had a table where one person ate and the other person like had water? That's fine. That would be kind of weird. And I, he didn't, I don't know if he did that or not. We haven't addressed that. It, I've had <laughs> tables where I think that happens, but it's because they're just like stopping in. Yeah. And as long as someone is ordering something, I, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. And it happens at like, like four o'clock on a Thursday. Yes. Um, I have had the tables though, where like one person gets food, the other person only gets water and then like complains about it the whole time. Yeah. I have had that. That's where I got, I could never eat that much right now. And then that's shit. And then they stare at you. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't know that yet. It's true. True. Update number two. There was no waitress. We ordered at the counter and they put the food on our tray. Also, we had been together for 10 months, so I don't think there's much to feel awkward about. So, okay, so what he is clarifying is that it is not a fancy place. It is not the $45 as cargo. It's and it's food. not like a first date. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> so <laughs> someone he already has a relationship with. He can pull that kind of shit easier. Right. He feels less of an asshole to me now that I know that it's a cheaper place. Me too. And that there's no waitress not getting a tip. Exactly. That you tip at the cashier. Yes. You're not taking up a table that someone else could have that would have tipped more yes. and paid more. Okay, point for OP. Update. I have no allergies. 
For the most part, I can usually find something to eat at a restaurant, but this French restaurant had nothing worth eating, in my opinion. You don't have to say it like that. Yeah, so he's a picky eater, and now it's he's not eating because he's being annoying, <laughs> is what that like, turns into. There's a difference between, this goes back to like the table thing, like there's a difference between I don't want to eat this and it's bad. Those are not the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah, yeah. is rude. The other one is your opinion that you're entitled to. I feel like we just talked about this the other day. We're like, yeah, there is a difference between like, um, I, I, got, I, I don't like tomatoes, for example. Mm -hmm. I ordered a dish that had tomatoes in it. So the dish is bad because there's tomatoes. Right. No, the no. Dish, you don't like the dish because you don't like tomatoes. It's not the right dish for you. Also, like if it's like a casual French restaurant, like this is not a French dish, but like all places have like a Caesar salad. Yeah. They have a baguette, I'm sure. <laughs> they, I'm sure they have some kind of like, you could have found something. Me chicky tenders, you know? Mm -hmm. Chicky tenders and chalky milk. You could have found something. <laughs> <laughs> well, he hasn't clarified what he's picky about. Maybe he only eats like one thing that's like really obscure. That could be. That's true. Maybe he has like a fixation like, meal. Yeah. Like burritos. Maybe he only eats burritos. Well, then and he should not have burritos. <laughs> no, they're not gone. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. If he only eats burritos, then he is the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so it's not that he couldn't eat because of, of a dietary restriction. It's just that he was being picky, which is annoying as an adult, but whatever. Update number four. I didn't Google the menu beforehand because we've never gone to a restaurant that I couldn't find something to eat at. This was a lunch, not a dinner. I don't know what the time has to do with it, other than I guess it emphasizes the fact that it's casual. Mm -hmm. You should just Google the menu. Yeah. I'm actually fascinated to know what's on this menu if he's saying, I always find something to eat, but I didn't hear. That's interesting. Yeah. So then it's not the burrito thing. It makes me think <laughs> that it was like a cart. <laughs> kind of sound, that has like two things on the menu. It yeah. just kind of sound like Because that. what like fast casual place is French has a tiny menu, you know? It's not adding up. Yeah. It's not adding up. Or it was like at a mall. In which case, I don't know why she'd be like, I had to, this is my favorite restaurant right. at the food court of the mall. But yeah, that's so good. I, yes. <laughs> All right, update number five. <laughs> this is the best one. <laughs> I feel like we've had a lot of updates and I still, there's a lot of things I don't know. Update number five. Okay. So, so I just learned that all bread is made of wheat. <laughs> in parentheses, we are all smart in different ways. Oh, well, at least he knows. <laughs> he specifically said that he didn't want any of the sandwiches because he didn't like wheat. I assumed he meant like whole wheat. That's also what I but assumed. That sounds like I was wrong. That he knew <laughs> that what that meant. But no, I just, I just learned that all bread is made of wheat. <laughs> I have it in my mind that this guy is like 35 and I hope that that's true. I hope that he was 35 years old and discovered what bread was <laughs> for the bread first time today. <laughs> it was some type of whole grain or sourdough. What I meant Wait, to those say- Those are pretty different, but okay. <laughs> well, he just, today he learned what bread was. <laughs> you're correct. So, so this is a little bit much. Okay. His, he has his research cut out for him. You're, he has right. a day fair. ahead of him, right? He's got a lot of strides to take in the bread department. <laughs> it was some type of whole grain or sourdough. What I meant to say is I only like white bread, but brioche buns are good too. Okay. Brioche buns are good. I thought that was probably what he meant, but I love that we established that he didn't know that bread is made of wheat. Brioche, <laughs> I'm glad to know that. Brioche bread is like the bread equivalent of like candy. Yeah, so. it's fabulous. <laughs> All right, last update. Actually, well, I, this might make him more of an asshole. The fact that he went 50 years, right, without knowing what bread was, <laughs> and he can't like use Google. Yeah, that is, that is on him. He might actually be very old. Update. 10 months into the relationship, and we never went to a place where I couldn't find something to eat. This was the first time this happened. Also, I do try new things. I'm not stubborn with it, but usually it is me trying her food because I only order things I know I will like. I don't like wasting food, nor my money. That's the last update. I kind of think he's the asshole. Yeah, <laughs> he sounds really annoying. I, I feel like he is not sharing the conversation he had between he and his girlfriend that made her lose her temper. I agree. I think that there might've been a back and forth where she probably was like, can, can you have the Caesar salad? And he had some bullshit excuse as to why, like mm -hmm. it wasn't the kind of lettuce he like. He seems like someone that always has like an excuse. Like a reason, yeah. And the fact that he really couldn't find anything uh, makes me think that there was some kind of exchange where she was like, just 
have something. And he was like, no, I just want you to have a good time here. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and that's being an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, you know, there's a lot of subtext that we're reading into, but mm -hmm. I am getting the vibe that he's the asshole. I agree. Because who else would be the asshole? The girlfriend? I don't, I don't think, think she's, she's the asshole. The asshole. No. But based on how much information he had to give us about how like, I am picky, but I'm not stubborn. Uh-huh. That's enough for me to be like, you are stubborn. And I feel like he's, he wrote a lot, but I still have a lot of questions. And that makes me feel like that's because there were things he doesn't want to share. My guess, <laughs> I didn't read through the comments. Maybe I should have. But my guess is that he probably posted, got a lot of comments of people saying, you're the asshole because you didn't tip the waitress. Yeah. So he was like, okay, well, I'm not the asshole, the asshole because there, there was no waitress. waitress. Yeah, it's I feel like he's trying to convince himself that he's not the asshole, which mm -hmm. makes me think that he probably he is. is the asshole, yeah. I would never go out to eat anywhere with him. No, no. We would only do takeout or he could cook. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just pick where you want to go? And yeah. then I love this restaurant. I'm going to go with my girlfriends. Right. You enjoy your bread. I'm so, I am so proud of this man for learning what bread was. <laughs> um, I'm glad that he could expand his horizons in that <laughs> way. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet am I the asshole? <laughs> oh my god. So I think he's a soft asshole, but he's an asshole. Yes. I, I wish I could get a lot more information. I wish he was here with us so that I could grill him. Bread guy, if you're watching, please send me a DM. Call us, please. <laughs> Where we have questions. You right? fascinate me. I also <laughs> would love to share some more food facts with you. <laughs> please defend yourself. <laughs> I would love to know what else you don't know so that I can assist you. <laughs> All right, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Am I the asshole? for taking up space at a restaurant. Could go either way <laughs> based on that. <laughs> yeah. So I, 27 male, often go out to eat alone. It's never an issue for me since I'm usually sat at bars or at a table for two. Recently, I wanted to go to a new place that had opened in the area. I went alone, but the hostess led me to a table for four. I asked if they had smaller tables or a bar to sit at since I didn't want to take up a spot for larger groups. She said that this was their smallest table and they don't do bar seating. The restaurant wasn't super busy, but definitely picking up as it was dinner time. While I was waiting on my food, the attendants picked up big time and there were people sitting outside waiting. I noticed at the host stand, an older woman, man, two younger adults and a kid were crowded around and the woman pointed directly at me. We all know the type. I know exactly. I can picture exactly what this woman looked like. <laughs> um, I know you can too. Mm -hmm. She's got the haircut. She's she got does. she's got the chunky highlights. Uh, she looks like Jill from Dance Mom. <laughs> yes, and she's got the yeah yeah. She's pointing like <laughs> this. I tried to ignore it since my food was about to come out. While I was eating, the group from earlier were sat in a booth not far from me. The lady who pointed at me, the pointer, made a loud comment about how selfish young people can be. Nope. Done. Out. <laughs> You're the asshole. You are the asshole. Some people are so entitled they take things from others without a care. <laughs> There's she doesn't get to use the e word. The thing that sticks out to me at this point is that like, lady, you've already sat. Oh yeah, their situation is resolved. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> you waited. Sounds like not very long. Uh huh. And you're in a booth. That's like the holy grail of old people in it restaurants. It is. Old people love booths. Old grouchy ladies love booths. And kids. She said they have kids, right? Kids yeah. Love booths. No, they fucking love booths. So you're fine. Already. Yes. Already your time is done. Mm -hmm. However, there's more. Of course. Then I felt something hit my neck. Oh my god. <laughs> it was a wadded up straw wrapper. <laughs> love it. Because she was mad that she was already sitting. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> I turned to look where it came from and noticed everyone at that table was glaring at me. Except the kid who was oblivious. The poor kid. <laughs> I wouldn't say I have social anxiety, but I am non-confrontational, so I went back to my food. A hero. Then the unthinkable happened. Oh, no. <laughs> the lady came over and asked for one of the chairs at my table, saying they squeezed five into a booth and just wanted a chair for the kid. I bet you $15 right now that they were fighting with the host and the ho and she pointed at the booth and said, that table's open. Mm -hmm. Why don't we sit there? And the host was like, it's a tight squeeze for five people. Mm -hmm. And she said, well, we're we not waiting. We're not waiting. Seat us there. No one's sitting there. I will bet you, I bet you 
a hundred dollars now that that's yes, what happened. I agree. <laughs> uh, before I could get an answer out, since I was chewing, a server walked by and said, oh no ma'am, we can't have the chairs moved around. Safety with the walkways. Good for that server. Good get for it. you. Fire hazard, baby. Well, why does one person need three extra chairs? That's not why. I have a kid suffering <laughs> and his parents horribly uncomfortable. I'm putting a lot of uh, spin on this. It's just like normal straight text, but this is how I imagine it went down. If it down. says those words, then <laughs> I think you're, you're right on it. Yeah. And his parents horribly uncomfortable because you sat one guy at a table when you could have just given his food to go. Okay, so people eating by themselves are allowed to eat for here. They are in fact, people too. Back to the baby conversation. <laughs> yeah, they are people too. Um, especially since there is no bar at. Like clearly yeah. he was like, if I had smaller options, I would sit there. And he told the host that. And the host was like, and he sat at the smallest option. Yeah. So shut the fuck up, Karen. Yeah. Um, you're fine. The, the <laughs> use of the word entitled coming from this bitch. I know. That's rich. I know. Okay. I, I'm still <laughs> reading, even though we know what the answer is. Ew, yeah. We oh, know. I'm sure there's more good stuff. We but. know who the asshole is and it's not the OP. Also, <laughs> I guarantee the kid is like on the Nintendo and does not know what's going on. Yeah. The kid's on the iPad. He's not suffering. The kid's watching Bluey. Yes. <laughs> you know, the kid's watching Coco Melon. Oh yeah. He's on the iPad. I just aged myself really bad with a Nintendo comment. <laughs> okay. On the, on the Nintendo. <laughs> on the Atari. <laughs> 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 I'm the cat's cradle. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to music on the Walkman. <laughs> He's on over my, there starting a fire with sticks. <laughs> on my iPod shuffle. <laughs> Back in the Stone Age, when I walked uphill both ways to get here. He's over there saying, if only we had wheels. <laughs> After I only someone would invent the wheel. After I shit in the outhouse. <laughs> Being like, it's so great that uh, we that sliced bread was invented yesterday. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, the server told her that she needed to sit back down, but she kept ranting. Oh, I'd love to sit comfortably at a table too big for me. It must have been so nice knowing I'm ruining another family's dinner. Get out. I was here first. You came after me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> at this point, the hostess interjected and the server left. The hostess tried to shoo her back to her table, but the lady kept demanding an extra chair. Ma'am, you told us to sit you in the first table that opened. The manager and I told you it would be a squeeze and you still wanted it. That's a hundred dollars for me. Yep. <laughs> Either you take this table or you can leave. The lady finally grumbled her way back to sitting and I finished my meal, paid, and got the hell out. <laughs> the poor man. <laughs> she was definitely unhinged, but I'm stuck wondering if I'm the asshole here for taking up a space meant for more people. You are not even a little bit the asshole ever. First of all, if, that, if that's the smallest table, then no, it's not meant for more people. Yeah. It's meant for four or fewer people. What are they gonna do, <laughs> sit you on the floor when there's like a bazillion tables open? Right. right. That's like the game. That's the game of restaurants is like, you don't know who's a walk-in. Yeah. Like if you don't have reservations out, technically everything else is fair game. You yeah. know, that's life. That's the gamble. But this lady sounds like she didn't have a reservation. Of course she didn't. She walked in with a party of five. <laughs> I swear she did not. <laughs> yeah. You don't always have to. Sometimes I feel like we get a little militant about like, if you didn't make your reservation, then you're trash. Oh yeah, I'm a bitch about it. I'll, I'll own that. If you're, look, if you're a walk-in five or six or 10 or 15, that's when it gets like, that's just when your odds decrease of getting yeah. what you want. But then like a walk-in one, walk-in two, they happen. Oh yeah, I wouldn't expect to make a reservation for one anyway. Yeah. But like, it's, it's fine to be a walk-in, just don't be surprised if everything doesn't go your, your way. Exactly. Don't yeah. be surprised if we weren't prepared for you. Yeah, making a reservation <laughs> just like, uh, it decreases your margin of error. Yes. Basically, um, you just have a better chance of getting what you want. What I compare it to is like, if you call your friend to hang out right now, they might not be able to hang out right now, but you could still call if you wanted to. Yeah. But if you call your friend and said, when are you free to hang out? And you make plans for two days from now, then your friend's gonna show up and Precisely. then you can hang out. So yeah, OP did everything right. Yes. Not even a little bit the asshole. You asked all the right questions. Even if you hadn't asked those questions, the host still sat you. Yeah. Like even if you say you're a party of one and then the host sits you at a four top, you're still entitled to that yeah. spot. That's on the host. That's not yeah. on you. If she should have sat you at a smaller one, then that's on her. Yeah. So there was maybe a universe where like maybe the host was the asshole, but like not even but the asshole. It sounds but... like she wasn't even yeah. wrong because so... that's a small stable anyway. We're rolling. We are rolling. So <laughs> if the camera looks different, that's because it is.
because it's a whole different one. We are now recording on my phone because while I was adjusting my camera, I dropped it on the hard floor. And now if you can see that, I have no concept because we're just doing a back facing camera and I no longer have a thing to see it, which is amazing. Yay. Um, but if you can see that, if that's in focus, it's... See, you see how it's supposed to be straight and it isn't? And so now it won't like turn off, like it won't go, it won't film. Because... It's a rockin', rockin' situation. So that's great. I'm feeling great and super capable. Oh, I liked staring at myself while we did it before. That I know. Now <laughs> I just have to trust that everything is going fine. It's stressful. So if you see anything that looks silly, don't tell me. Yeah. Lie to me. Because I <laughs> am feeling... I only have used that camera for two and a half videos. Already is broken. I've had it only for like three months. So this is sucks. Everything is terrible, but it's fine. We're having a good time. This is great. So great. Um, cool. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, that last OP was not the asshole for taking up space in the restaurant. <laughs> I forgot what it even was, but yes, you're right, he was not an asshole. It has been an incredibly wild 15 minutes. Yeah. So now I'm reading um, the Am I the Ass Assholes off of Brenna's phone. Um, I need your face. Did you like my face? <laughs> Great. Am I the asshole for not going to a different restaurant? Who's to say? Only time will tell. <laughs> so throw away, I have family on Reddit. My 38 female, the poster is 38 and female. My husband, Cameron, 35 male, and I have Millie, seven female. Husband has Mo, 15, uh, 15 male from before. So step situation. So my family has a tradition of meeting up at a seafood restaurant in the town I grew up in. We planned a get together for this weekend as it's the last weekend before the kids have school. It was just supposed to be us and my parents for dinner. Not supposed to be Cameron's weekend with Mo, but his ex had something come up. So who? Mo wasn't supposed to be there, but it sounds like Mo's not going to be there. stop yawning. I swear I'm paying attention. Can you pull it together? <laughs> I'm trying. We're doing something so important. I know. I promise I'm paying attention. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry. I know I just yawned like 12 times. <laughs> Can't fucking work under these conditions. I yawned so many times. I'm just a yawner. So embarrassing. I know. <laughs> anyway, uh, Mo, I think, is not supposed to be there, but is now going to be there. We didn't mind having him come along, but here's the issue. Mo is allergic to seafood. Oh. There weren't really alternate entrees, but they had a lot of sides, so I figured he could have easily he could easily have some of those. Okay. When we saw the menu, Cameron whispered to me that there wasn't really anything Mo could eat and asked if we could go to another restaurant. I think that's fair, honestly. Mm -hmm. The problem was that my parents don't eat at chain restaurants, and that's really all else there is. And my dad is diabetic and needs to eat. To keep things going well, I decided we should stay where we were. I feel like we're set up for something bad. Uh, yes. <laughs> I thought things had gone well, but before we left, Cameron pulled me aside. He said he was upset that I didn't seem to care that his son ate applesauce for dinner because he couldn't have a meal and the sides were mostly fried things cooked on the same equipment. You are the asshole. Yeah. You're the asshole. Team Cameron. Yep. Sorry, Opie. That's like enough for me. There's People with allergies are people too. <laughs> There's still a paragraph and a half, but like the fact that like, like, even if you didn't have the information that everything was fried on the same thing that touches seafood, you had to just go to another restaurant, get dad a granola bar, you know, or yeah. be like, we have to go. Can I get like some apple juice to go? The, the kid not dying is more important than you eating at a non-chain restaurant. Also, um, why was this not addressed at all before we got to the restaurant? Yeah, that's a good point. Why did you not say, oh, of course you can come with us. But let's check the menu because it's a seafood restaurant and I know that you're allergic to seafood, so let's see if there's something for you to eat. And if there's not, let's come up with an alternate plan for the evening. It seems like maybe Cameron was like, hey, hey, wife of mine, is the restaurant going to be okay for Mo to go? So she looked. She looked at the menu, deemed the sides good enough. Right. And was just like, yeah, trust me, it's fine. And Which, Cameron was probably like, yeah, it's probably fine. I trust you. You're my wife. And I think that that's where... We went wrong. He said that if it had been Millie, which is her daughter, then I definitely would have insisted we eat somewhere else. Ooh. That is true. But Millie has an anaphylactic peanut allergy and can't even be around it. Whereas Mo just can't ingest his allergen, so it's a little different. No! I don't feel like these people should be eating out if it's not safe. Yeah, the peanut thing, <laughs> that's tough. That is a tough thing, but that's so like, it's not a little different. Yeah. <laughs> it's like not different. If it's a seafood allergy where you still go into anaphylaxis, 
Yeah. That's still just as bad. That's still a child's life on the line. That's bad. That's, you're the asshole. You're, you are. This just, <laughs> uh, this just should have been addressed before we got to the restaurant. Yeah. And that sucks that you, like, that's just a mean thing to say to your it other is. kid. You know, okay. is that like, well, her allergy is worse than yours. Right. And it just hits different because that's her biological kid versus the step kid. So right. That's like a tr slippery slope. I didn't mean to cause trouble. And I believe that, however. <laughs> you, you didn't mean to prevent trouble, though. Yeah. You're a terrible host. I didn't mean to cause trouble. And I did get Mo a Happy Meal on the way back so he didn't starve or anything. <laughs> But I had no idea he was coming until this morning, and so I'm not sure it was on me to cancel plans. You just go to the chain restaurant. Or, you know, like dad, because they have some kind of tradition about the seafood restaurant, like dad and Mo can even go to a different restaurant. I don't know if that's awkward, but you could have just said, hey, like, you know, the plan as it is, is not gonna work with Mo, which is true. Yeah. And like, so, so I get the sentimentality of it, right? Of like right. the tradition. However, if it's, tr tr if it's a tradition, it's gonna happen next year. Hey, that's true. Let the kid eat something this one time. Mm -hmm. And next time he probably won't go. Mm -hmm. Cause this was very embarrassing, I'm mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> I would not want to go you, out to eat with these people again. And you had to buy your fit. Like fifth, it's one thing if they're like six, but when you're 15, you know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> It's, if I were 15, also if it were me now, I would be humiliated. Yes, <laughs> you can pick up on social nuances. So, you know, you could have just done it next year. Uh-huh. Go to the chain restaurant. Mom and dad and everyone are going to be just fucking fine. And there's just, be fine. there's just no reason why we did not come up with a solution before we arrived. Yeah, this is horrible. This is, this is, I'm, I'm getting more and more mad the more yeah. we talk about it. <laughs> Cameron said that I should just count him out on getting together with my family from now on. Yeah. And he's going to have to rethink things with us. Ooh. I wasn't trying to slight my stepson. I understand there was a lot at play here, but I wonder if I handled it correctly. Am I the asshole Reddit? Yes. I think you are. Um, you, you maybe weren't trying to slight him, but you certainly weren't trying not to. The <laughs> implication is that you don't care about his life. Yeah. Even if that's not like explicitly what you were saying, the implication is that the tradition with your parents was more important than your kid potentially eating Maybe something that could kill him. a safe meal that is a meal which That's even like, if it's not like your biological kid which is like a whole other not... thing it's a kid it's a child who you're legally responsible for mm -hmm. and you chose to like risk his life yeah and that's i'd rethink it too it's also shocking like not mm -hmm. to comment on like people's mothering skills but like you should exactly know what this is like when you also have, have a, a kid child with, with an allergy. a life-threatening allergy. Why yeah. was it not the first thing you thought of? Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like if it were, even if it's just like a table I'm waiting on, I mean, I guess it's a little different because it's like my livelihood, but like I, I drop everyone. That is like the top priority. Yeah. If someone says they have an allergy, if they're celiac, I'm like, I'm asking, I'm going back there asking like, is there gluten in the Brussels sprouts? Like I'm asking the yeah. dumb questions. Cause I'd rather ask a dumb question than kill than somebody. somebody. get hurt, yeah. I'm gonna fire it up the more that we talk about it. <laughs> or like, we have people call all the time who are like making reservations and they'll be like, Oh, I just remembered like one of my friends is like a vegan. Like, is there going to be something for her to eat? Because they're considerate of other human beings. Yeah. They want everybody to have a safe and happy time. She should have uh, shown Mo the menu. Like they should have. Yes. All, it should have been a family thing. You should have discussed from the second Mo said, can I come? You should have said, oh, you know what? It's a seafood restaurant. Let's make sure that there's something for you to eat. Let's talk about it right now. I don't know what to tell you other yeah. than you're the asshole. You're such an asshole. Um, honestly, I hope Cameron divorces you. And yeah, same. You didn't hear it from me, but you Get did. Get it, Cameron. Anyway, we have reached our last Am I the Asshole. How you feeling? I'm feeling like it's going to be hard to let go. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have the time of your life. <laughs> and it's got a doozy of a title. Am I the Asshole for making my server cry on my birthday? <laughs> so I, 28 male. Side note, um, on the day that we're filming this, it is uh, two days until my birthday, and I am also turning 28, so I'm gonna get to pull this bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm already surprised that it's not a woman. Yeah. I really had <laughs> my money on women. Not to judge, but just, you know, but... I, 28 male, just celebrated my birthday, and my mother wanted to take me out to dinner. I wasn't in the mood, but to make her happy, I agreed. 
So we went to a local whiskey bar. I didn't like love the sound of it. Let your mom take you out to dinner. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing with birthdays, now that I'm getting older, is that like, it should actually be a day for your mom. <laughs> as much as I love the attention, I didn't do any goddamn work that day, yeah. you know? <laughs> I just, she gets all the credit. I literally just showed up. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Kath was in labor with me for like, 36 hours. I, I think you were the worst. I think it was a long one. I was like three hours. You fell out of her. Yeah. That's <laughs> you barely even made it to the hospital. That's you true. were almost born in the car. <laughs> I was more of an experience. I just didn't want to be an inconvenience, you know? I was <laughs> a little more labor intensive. <laughs> I'm not the kind of person who likes to draw attention to themselves. You know, those people who turn their birthday into a birth month? Couldn't be me. <laughs> I'm the exact opposite of that. Couldn't be me. It's another day, but I do the niceties to make the family happy. You sound boring. You sound like you don't do it in a nice way. Yeah, you sound like a, someone that's like, well, you know. Yeah. I, you sound like you think that no one knows you don't like it, but actually everybody knows. So with that said, we sit down, order our food, and my mom mentions to the server we are celebrating my birthday. The server made mm. note it was my birthday, so I made sure to tell her explicitly, please no singing. Please is in all caps. Please no singing. I don't want singing at my table. No, nothing. I'm 28 and just want to enjoy a nice dinner with my mommy. She says, it's okay, we don't do singing. I was happy with that statement. A dinner goes smoothly and when dessert came, I saw my server with a dessert and a candle. That's fine. But on the other side of my eye, I saw another server walking to my table with something in their hand. <laughs> Before I could see what it was, said server started ringing this loud cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the entire restaurant's attention. <laughs> Everyone, we have a birthday here. <laughs> Give it up for name. <laughs> That's brutal. <laughs> cowbell. I get it. <laughs> for most people, it's a fun, happy little thing. Nobody <laughs> likes that. But for me, I snapped. <laughs> I don't like attention. I said no singing for that reason. <laughs> Not thinking they would try some other thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a fair assumption. It is a fair assumption. I couldn't even enjoy my dessert that I sent it back at the bar. Okay, well... That's not the choice I would have made. No, but... I would have sat there with the reddest of faces and still eat the dessert. It's free dessert, mm -hmm. but... When my server came to me asking how things were and if I finished my dessert early, I snapped at her. I said, no singing and you do this? She looks at me and goes, well, I said we didn't do singing here. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I looked at her and said, when I said no singing, what made you think I'd rather have a fucking bell ringing in my ear? <laughs> she apologized and said she read the situation wrong. Aww. You did. Like, a lot wrong. For the record, ma'am, you did. She walked away. Another guy, probably the manager, came and tried making light of the situation, but I just wanted to leave. My mother was upset with me and told me that I made the server cry. Am I the asshole? But this is not how where I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> In my opinion, technically no. Mm -hmm. um, she cried because you yelled at her pretty good, but also you were a trigger. You you were right. You, know, you were triggered. She made an she made an oopsie. She made like a stupid oops. <laughs> she really made an oopsie Girl on that friends. one. You gotta read the room. Mm -hmm. There are some people where that would that bit would have hit. You know, well, we don't do singing, but we do this cowbell. <laughs> and yeah, he didn't say, don't ring a cowbell. Yeah, and but you could, I, I could tell from the way that he wrote this was that he said it in a way that made it clear that he wanted no attention of any kind. Mm -hmm. Like, even though we got a lot of context, it sounded like he told her, please, no, no singing. I don't, mm -hmm. uh, it, like a fear reaction. We actually just took our mother out. I was, yeah, I was thinking we have to tell the story. For dinner a couple of days ago. We actually went to the restaurant we work at on our days off. Um, was that her choice? Why did we go there? Um, I didn't think I was going to get the day off. So I wanted you guys to come so that 
you wouldn't be somewhere else without me and I wouldn't have to feel bad. Okay, word. <laughs> um, so it was like at our restaurant we sat and like, you know, it's our friend that's serving us. And we told her that it was our mom's birthday and she made a joke and she was like, well, make sure we sing. And she was like, no. Mm -hmm. I was like, don't sing. And then the server did the greatest thing. It was great. It was so good. I love her. Where she brought out like multiple desserts, but she brought all of the other servers <laughs> out with her. She brought like the crew yeah. and put down the desserts. And she was she like, goes, it's time to sing. <laughs> and our mom went, no. <laughs> and they were never going to sing. Yeah. We don't sing at all. So like, that's a good bit. <laughs> Because also, like, that server is all of our friends. She's friends with yeah. us. And she's also friends, she's friends with, with our mom. mom. The four of us go to Disneyland yeah. kind of often these they days. They have hung out multiple times. So, like, it was a friend pranking a friend, yes. right? And also, she didn't go through with it. She yeah. didn't actually do she it. She was never really going to have them sing. She didn't say, hey, guys, come out here and sing. She said, come out here and pretend you're going to sing. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a really good bit for someone you already have a previous relationship exactly. established with. This is a stranger. Uh-huh. You shouldn't have. And then there's the part of me that's like, you don't have to yell at people until they cry, really, ever. Like, that's not a, a productive way to go about solving your problems. But you were right to be mad. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he was, he was aggressive in the way that he said it. But I do get the feeling that it was like a, like a trauma reaction. Mm -hmm. Like, some people, are, that is just so triggering. And when you are such a state of, like, fight or flight, and he fought, mm -hmm. you know? Which explanation, not an excuse, but like, it makes me think that he's not, he's not really the asshole here. No. He's a little bit of one, but he's not the asshole. So sh the server is mostly the asshole. I think like heart in the right place, but like, come think, on, come on. I think it's more being like a ditz. Your, your job as a server, one yeah. of the critical skills as a server is it's like- comedic timing. Well, <laughs> Yeah, that's the secret thing. <laughs> Comedic timing. But also, like, you have to be able to, like... Like, the best servers can sort of change their personality based on who they're serving in order to give them the yes. best experience. You have the servers that are, like, you know, super deadpan and dry. You have, like, the super bubbly ones. The best servers are the ones that can sort of play yeah. all sides. That can, like, not necessarily, like, shift personalities. But you can adapt your energy yeah. to what's going to be... Not everyone wants just, like, zingers. Yeah. Not everyone wants to talk to you or be your friend. Some people love to banter. Some... I have some regulars that liked me because they wanted me to talk their ears off and they wanted us to talk each other's ears off and they wanted us to be friends. Some people just want to eat and yeah. they want you to shut the fuck up and leave them alone. They want you to find out what food you want and then make that happen yeah and that's it <laughs> homegirl read read the vibe incredibly Sorry. fucking wrong so wrong in like a really aggressive way yeah so uh okay i'm letting you off the hook yeah on right. this one i don't think it's you no, i, don't <laughs> I think either. everyone in your life needs to simmer down just I a agree. little bit <laughs> all right that was fun it was fun. I had fun. Did you have fun? I had quite a bit of fun. Incredible. Let us know in the comments if this was something you liked. If you want to see more of Am I the Assholes. If you want to see more of Brenna. Or, you know, if you hated me. <laughs> <laughs> or if <laughs> you hate her. You can tell me. <laughs> you can tell me. Be, be nice in the comments. So, like, you can tell me if you hated her. I won't tell her. It'll just be, like, a secret between you and me. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Brenna, where can we find you? Do you want to plug anything? you want to plug any social media? I don't right now. Okay. Brenna doesn't want, want to be perceived. So. <laughs> oh no. What if those now? <laughs> I mean, you can follow me on Instagram. I just don't, haven't posted in like a really long time. Brenna like, has. Like a few years. Brenna has no presence. She does not exist. <laughs> I mean, look, you can follow me on Instagram. I won't be mad. It's at Brenna Fine Women, but just it will be only pictures of me from four years ago. <laughs> uh, Brenna is our first guest that is a hologram. So. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, give it a little like, hit a little subscribe if you want to see more, if you want to get a little notification when new videos come out. That is all I have to say. I don't have anything else. Um, have a great time. Have a great day, morning or noon or whatever time of day it is for you. Have a good night. Have a good. How do you remember noon and not night? Have a, have just a good Who time. Who has a good noon? That's not a thing. <laughs> noon is my favorite time of day, Brenna. That's You're a thing, but having a good noon is not a phrase anyone's ever said before. <laughs> Have a good noon. Shut up. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Have a good 427. <laughs> <laughs> In 36 seconds. <laughs> I'm 
amazing. <laughs> <laughs>